Hey there! Today my video will be different because today I am going to talk about trauma and that's because I recently went through a trauma. In fact, I'm still going through a trauma and typically when I am in that situation when I'm going through a trauma my natural reaction to that is that I want to hide. I want to find a cave and uh, get into the cave and not see anyone, not talk about what happened. But this time I am observing myself. I'm aware of that reaction and I am trying to do something different, which is to speak openly about what happened to me and uh, probably it's easier for me this time because it's not as uh, big of a trauma that I have experienced in the past but still it is a trauma and it I, I feel that I've been violated which actually is what what it is all right, I'll tell you what happened. Recently, my identity documents were stolen from me while I was walking in a park. I had hidden my purse in the car, yet when I returned to the car after my walk, I found the car damaged, the window broken, and my purse stolen. And now there is another person who is walking around pretending that she is me. And she actually managed to withdraw a significant amount of money from my bank account. Although the bank account was already blocked and flagged, but she managed to prove that she is me and she managed to withdraw that money. Um, it was an error uh, by the teller, but anyway, it hurts. Most of all, what hurts is, you know, that feeling of being violated. And of, of course, everything that I have to go through right now, because I have to prove that I am who I am to everybody. So yeah, that's where I am at and uh, probably I'm going to make a public speech about uh, this and the lessons that I've learned that, that I'm still learning. But like I said, the reason, the main reason why I'm making this video is because I'm trying out a new behavior and see how that feels because typically I would not talk about what happened to me for a long 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 time that's my natural reaction anyway I also wanted to be brave and I think I once already mentioned that I want to try to uh, be more more vulnerable allow myself to be more more vulnerable knowing and being aware of the fact that there might be somebody who comments after this video, after seeing this video, that it was my own fault, that's hurting me even more. Uh, like I said, uh, I think I said that I also, why I don't like to talk about what happened to me is because I typically blame myself for being stupid, uh, stupid, too stupid to prevent that thing happening to me, whatever that thing is, each time. So yeah, that's also what, what I do to myself. And uh, this time I want to actually st uh, speak out and stand up for myself and say, in the ideal world, we shouldn't be feeling like that because there shouldn't be anybody who violates our space. But unfortunately, we don't live in an ideal world. But anyway, we who are victims should not blame ourselves for just trusting trusting people other people and the world because it's a nice thing to do and now i will probably be more vigilant and i also want to talk about that 
in my public speeches because we need to learn to protect ourselves. Yeah, that's, uh, that's it. And that's actually the reason why I didn't post the video last Friday, as it was planned anyway. I'll say bye-bye for now, and hopefully you'll see me in two weeks when I'm planning to make a video about healthcare for foreign students in Latvia, and maybe generally about how to take care of yourselves in crisis situations in Latvia that might be similar to what I am experiencing right now in the United States and other situations. All right, I'll say bye-bye for now indeed and see you in two weeks.